All right, welcome back inside of ClickFunnels, guys. This is where a lot of things are going to happen. If you haven't already done so, I want you to come up here to Account Settings, go to your Account Details, uh, make sure that you choose your subdomain, make sure that your information is correct, that you have a phone number in here, your city address, all this stuff is, is set up. Um, if you want, you can have your uh, a ClickFunnels affiliate badge turned on by default, uh, but just make sure you have all this stuff um, set up so that, it, it, you know, but I don't even know why. Just make sure that it's set up because you don't want it to not be set up. Uh, but what we're going to go into here, if you look over here on the far left side, once you're in account settings here, come down to SMTP settings. That's where I want you to go because we're going to set up SendGrid. Now, my SendGrid is already up, uh, set up. So what I want you to do, you can set up more than one SMTP account. So if you have more than one SMTP account, more than one SendGrid account, you can set more than one up. So if you have uh, one SendGrid account, it's going to be associated with one email address, by the way. So, uh, and that's why that is. So if you have five emails that you want to send stuff out of, I, I wouldn't get too wrapped up around that. Um, just start with one and go from there. If you find out that you need more down the road, just come in here and add them. So what you're going to do is go to add SMTP settings, and then you're going to put that information in here and then what you're going to do and you're going to get that in here let me get you the information uh, that you're going to need okay so here's the information that you guys are probably going to want to set up uh, inside of your smtp account so when you put this up here set up uh, the title call it sendgrid if you want to put in the email address that you will be worth that you will be using then type it here otherwise you won't know down the road what which one it's coming from uh, without coming in here to check so Put your name. Um, this is what it's going to look like when it comes through email. Put the email that it actually comes from. So if you want to, uh, you know, an unmonitored email, put something dumb in here like no reply at funnel.works, right? That's what I did. Um, for your SMTP server, it should say smtp.sendgrid.net. Uh, that's going to be the same across the board. SMTP port 587. Uh, put your SMTP username in there, not mine, and put in your SMTP password in there. And then the SMTP domain name is sendgrid.net. Do not put anything else in here. Now, if you want to set up a, a footer, uh, go ahead and type something in here. I just have the names of my businesses um, and my phone number in here. This stuff is required to be in there inside of your emails and an unsubscribe link which are automatically added through the Actionetic system so don't worry about having to put those in manually uh, but you, you probably should at least put something in there for your footer so it says what you want it to say once you're done with that click on verify email settings i'm not going to click it here because it always sends me out emails you know what i could um, when you click on this, it should come back with a green message here. It says email settings are good. We just sent you a test email. If it does not say this, go back into your SendGrid account and make sure that your account has been fully provisioned. Make sure you check your email and click on the link inside of your email that came from SendGrid. And make sure that you're using the proper username and the proper password that you set up inside of uh, inside of. Uh, send grid otherwise this will not work i've had a lot of problems with this uh, but most of it simply because people just didn't uh, click on that link inside that email or they didn't know what their username was and their password was so make sure you get those things down um, all this other information will be uh, that exact information and that's it uh, guys set up your send grid account make sure that that connection is made and verify your email settings and uh, that's it i'll see you guys in the next video